Let me ask you a question. If you were comfortable in your recliner and watching TV and you decided, you know what, I'm going to get up and go to the kitchen and get some potato chips. Are you going to walk all the way in there and grab one chip and then come back to your seat? Or are you going to bring the whole bag back? Naturally, you're going to grab the entire bag, right? Well, today we're going to talk about how to catch big bass on big worms. Hi there, welcome to The Bass Fishing Life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers. Before we get into today's video, make sure that you punch that subscribe button down there and click the notification bell. It really helps viewership on the channel and is better off for all of us here in the group. So boom, right down there, hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much. Today we're gonna talk about fishing giant worms or magnum sized worms. Now you may be thinking, how big are we talking about? Well, let me show you. This here is a typical finesse worm in that six to seven inch range. This is what I'm talking about. This is a 10 inch bull worm. This thing is huge. But this is what you can use in the summertime to really target those giant bass. So this is what we're gonna be talking about today, how to present it, how to rig it, and then what type of equipment you're gonna to wanna to use to be able to fish a giant worm. The first time that I fished a magnum sized worm, it was actually a 14 inch June bug worm down on Lake of the Ozarks. And I was fishing with a friend of mine by the name of Bill Davenport, and he is an expert on Lake of the Ozarks. He's typically known as a jig fisherman, but we were out one hot summer afternoon and the jig bite was not what we were hoping it would be. So he said, you know what? We're gonna hit some brush piles with giant worms. And it was the first time that I had ever fished a worm of that size. And I gotta be honest, I was a bit skeptical. While well, spending the afternoon with Bill and pulling in three, four, and five pound Lake of the Ozark bass on 12 inch worms, 14 inch worms, I became a believer really quickly. Now you may be wondering why such a large bait like this? We often hear about in the summertime downsizing, going to finesse baits, drop shots. We've talked on this channel about Ned rigs and all those are excellent, excellent ways to catch bass during the dog days of the summer. But if you really wanna catch a big fish, target those giant fish, it's not a bad idea to use giant baits. These great big bass get that way because they take in more calories than they burn. They aren't gonna get out of their little cover, their, their hiding place on a hot summer day and chase down just an itty bitty minnow. Now, if that minnow comes right by them, sure, they'll open up that vacuum cleaner and pull that thing in. But if they're gonna go out hunting, they're gonna make sure that whatever they eat is worth their time and effort, and that is where these giant baits come in. There are three typical ways that you would rig giant plastic worms. A standard Texas rig, a Carolina rig, and also an oversized shaky head rig. Any one of those will work really well. I myself prefer the traditional Texas rig. As far as the rod in the equipment, any rod reel setup that you would normally use for fishing your jigs is gonna work out just fine for giant sized worms. This is a Magnum jig rod. It is seven foot three. It is a medium heavy in the power department. On here, I've already got rigged a five aught hook. Uh, fishing a large worm like this, you can definitely go up to a six aught or a seven aught hook. And I have your typical worm weight sliding up and down the line. And I just like the Texas rig them. Just like normal. And I like to put the hook just out the back, up on top of it, just like that. And here is what that final setup looks like. Now that is a five-aught hook. 
you can see where a six aught or a seven aught is going to get you down a little bit farther, but a five aught absolutely will work just fine. Most of the time when you're fishing a giant worm like this and you're pulling it through, dragging it on the bottom, pulling it through vegetation or through a brush pile, those bass are often gonna take that thing from the front of the bait, the head of the bait as it's moving forward. But it doesn't hurt once you feel that a big fish has got it, let it, let it take it just a second. You can feel that fish on there, make sure it's got it good, and then really go ahead, rear back, and set the hook. Now it is important, I mentioned and I showed you, that I like to expose the hook out the back. The reason being is for increased hook sets, and you can see it here, it's exposed out the back of this particular worm. This is a lot of plastic. If you embed that hook into the plastic, you really gotta give it a giant hook set to penetrate the lip of the fish. So that is why I like to put it there up on the top or on the back side. As far, far as colors go on your summertime baits, um, your June bugs, motor oils, black, blue, green pumpkin, those are all excellent choices. It seems like if you line up a hundred bass anglers and ask them to pick out a color for a magnum sized worm, probably 90% of them are going to say June bug. It is just a great summertime worm color, but your green pumpkins, natural colors, they're all going to work really fine. Um, typically, the darker the water, the darker the color, you're going to want the more solid color. This one here is a laminate color that really looks very appealing and natural in clear water that I fish most of the time. So that is what the magnum sized worm looks like. Like I said, huge difference. I fish this one right here a lot on a shaky head, but boy, if I'm gonna target those big bass, I'm gonna try a big plastic worm, and this is a great one. I hope that this gives you some ideas for catching those giant summertime bass. If you've never tried fishing a big worm before, go ahead and pick up a bag and give it a good go. Give it some effort, and when you catch that first monster, on that 10, 12, 14 inch worm, I promise you, you're gonna have giant plastic worms in your arsenal from now on. Make sure that you encourage somebody today, you never know what a difference you're going to make in their life. And for the bass fishing life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.